probably would want it maybe this way. Oh, look at that. Wandering hordes spawning. <laughs> uh, looks like we're gonna get attacked. Oh, yep, and we've got um, spider zombies. Lovely. Hopefully it didn't destroy anything. Stunned. I might die. Hey, what's up guys? Melee Damage 15 here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. We're on day 11 here in 7 Days to Die. If you missed my last video, go ahead and click the link in the top right corner. And when you're finished watching that one, you can go ahead and come back to this one. So, day 11. Um, overnight, um, basically all I did was just kind of fill up this area um, of the roof or ceiling, I guess. And then flatten out the ground down here just so everything's flat. Uh, the next thing I'm going to work on is making sure that I dig all of this up um, so that we can place the wood down here as well. Just so everything looks um, good and aesthetically pleasing. Um, overnight, I did realize that I messed up though. Um, I had originally said that I wanted to make sure that the inner like house part up top here, the inner base part was smaller. And I realized I placed everything right at the edge. So... I guess we're just going to be building it up from there. Not the end of the world, um, but isn't what I was hoping for, but it's all right. And the reason why I'm going to leave it is just because in the forge, as you can see here, I already started pumping out a lot. Or not pumping out, but smelting down a bunch of resources. And I really don't want to take all of that out and then move it and everything. So we're just going to leave it as is. Um, let's see. Okay, so we're good on food and water for right now. Um... What do I have on me right now? We're going to dump a few things real quick. Um, I did do a little bit of inventory management as well. Not too much. This oil in here. I'm going to keep the forged iron with me. Actually, I think that's everything. Um, but yeah, so today we need to get resources um, so that I can uh, finish up more cobblestone uh, areas. So we're going to need to get some more clay soil, some more rocks. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. I want to loot the shotgun messiah as well. And then I also want to head back to the, um, what is it called? The well bunker. Cause I just realized, I don't think I ever went back and finished raiding that. So let's, uh, you know what? Let's head and do that first. Um, uh, let's see. So it's pretty much just West, directly West. Yeah. So we're going to head over to the well bunker. I'm going to go bust into the other two, I believe it was two safes that we had left. Um, and then when we're finished with that, um, on our way back, if we run into the shotgun messiah, maybe we'll hit that up. Well, you know what? My inventory space might be kind of full by then. So maybe we'll just head back to base real quick and do resources first and do the shotgun messiah last. I definitely want to uh, loot that today. Basically, Kind of what I want to do is I want to loot places as much as possible before the next horde. And then after the next horde, um, we can go ahead and look for another city. Um, see if we can find another cracker book. Um, I know someone told me... Am I safe here? Oop, what is this? Nice. Um, someone told me that there is another city nearby at the fork that we took. Um, I believe it was right here. So yeah, this fork here. That if I follow that, that I'll run into another city. So I can do that. Um, actually, I can take this off as well. But you. Um, remove. You're not going to let me remove it? Oh, is it this one? That's that one. There we go. Um, yeah, so that I want to be able to get up my um, looting perk um, as high as possible. So we have a better chance of finding the mini bike. Because honestly, that's kind of what we're holding out for. Once we get our hands on the mini bike, it's going to be so much easier to just open up so much of the map. So that way we can just honestly just get so much more resources. We can prepare ourselves better for the hordes. Um, I think I said at one point I want to make multiple bases um, in this world. So that's those are my goals. So hopefully I'm able to get, get that soon. Uh, let's see. So we broke into that one. Yep, these two are locked. So we're going to go ahead and break into these ones real quick, and I'll bring you guys back when I'm finished. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got a hunting rifle stock and shotgun long barrel. Nice. And in here, oh, nice. Okay, I got a lot. 
Shotgun short short stock, pistol barrel, pistol grip, shotgun parts, pistol parts, and more shotgun parts. Got a lot of stuff for the shotgun. I don't think I have that schematic though, so it doesn't really help me right now, but you know, in the future. Um, okay, yeah, I think that was everything in this area. How are we looking on space? We are decently full. I don't remember where that shotgun messiah was at though. It kills me because I ran through the city in the last episode um, after we were done getting um, the loot drops. Actually, speaking of is this, it maybe? Which one is this one? Is this a shamway? No, 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 I think. Oh no, this is the cracker book. Never mind. Did we go to the top of the cracker book, by the way? Check it out. Uh, anything up here? Hello? Hi. We did not. Uh, nothing in the corpse. Uh, we got a bag here. Yeah, I'll just scrap that. Uh, doesn't seem like anything else is up here, so we'll head back down. Make sure we don't break a leg. Oh, that is always very scary. Um, but yeah, the shotgun messiah. I am not exactly sure where it was at. I know there is one in here. Sandwich for now. Um, do I have anything else in here? Uh, not really. Leave it there for now. I do want to raid this at some point too. Hi, guys. Wow. It's a big little horde. <laughs> it's an oxymoron there. Big little horde. I will take you guys out. I need the experience. I am not doing too hot on arrows, though. Make sure I'm not getting surrounded. I always get nervous that the ones are just going to pop up right behind me, because they always do. Man, I'm missing her. Missed again. We just want to take out the big boy before we start meleeing some of them. Alright. Oop. No? See, I swear I heard someone to the left, but it, there was nobody there. I missed like three times. Aye. Oh. Got that hit in. You're down. Alright, not hit your head there. Oh, look at that. Infected, finally. <laughs> oh, I said I said a couple episodes ago, or maybe it was last episode, that like I had been hit so much and never got infected. Oh, my streak has ended. There we go. There was a crawler somewhere too, I think. Loot up these bodies real quick. Oh, yep. Someone else? We're sensed. Hello? The crawler, probably. I am not seeing him. Hello? Here are two different zombies, I think. I'm not seeing anybody. Okay, moving on, I guess. Okay, some vitamins, nice. A ton of water. I don't know where this guy's at. Sounds like he's right next to me, though. Maybe he's in the house? Maybe there's just one in the house? Oh, well. Um, we're gonna move on. Um, because I have several things that I want to get done today. Um, see, the problem is I don't know what it's supposed to look like on the map, either. 
Um, this is that first base that we started off in, so it's not over there. Could be up north, but I highly doubt it. Maybe it's more south? Uh, let's head south. Yeah, that horde wasn't that bad or anything like that. I've been getting some crazy big wandering hordes lately, though. Oh, that was weird. I thought something was just floating. Um, well, it's not any of these. Am I mixing it up with a different town that we've been in, maybe? I'm, like, 99% sure that there is, um, Shotgun Messiah in this town. Um, that's the outskirts, though, so there's nothing there. That's the cafe. Oh, no, this was our little base. I heard someone. Um, maybe let's just head back towards the, the middle then. Just head back towards that way since we don't even have that area um, discovered on the map. And see what we have. If we can just at least locate it. I know I'm, I'm pretty full right now. I'm going to try to break through there. Um, but yeah, if we can just at least locate it so I know exactly where it's at. Then I can drop off some loot and then come back and loot that one up. So let's head over here and see what we can find. I will take you. Um, I have a few things I can scrap. I can use this. Uh, let's fix this, by the way. <laughs> Forgot I was still um, infected. Search all these trash cans or trash bags. Okay, we got a prison here. It'd be cool to loot this prison at some point. Um, so we can go south and then head back around. That way I can pick up some more of these little trash bags. I've heard people say that they've found the mini bike schematic in these before and the trash cans as well. So I'm not leaving anything behind. Um, okay, Jim's cars. Wish it was a passing gas. Would be nice. My guy's overheating. Love that. Uh, where are we at now? So, if we keep heading this direction, yep, and then head north after that. Do Jim's cars have anything good in there? I really don't know if they do or not. Check out this nurse real quick. That was a weird animation. <laughs> she was ready to pounce on me. Clean up her body. Okay, let's see. I'm, I'm really not seeing much, guys. I swear that I saw one, though. Some of you guys are probably going crazy right now if I really did see one and you're like, man, like you passed it several times. <laughs> or if I'm actually crazy, then you're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> there was no, uh, what's it called? Um, shotgun messiah in this town. Uh, what is this? Am I going in a circle? Is this just, uh, I think this is the popping pills actually. Uh, anything else in here? Untouched. Cool. Speaking of pills, <laughs> some painkillers. Scrap you. Uh, there's another building. Uh, it might be that one, actually, if it's not this. I think this is the poppin' pills, though. Uh, uh, yeah, this is the poppin' pills, so I think it was that other building there. That looked like one of the businesses. Yeah, I think it's this. It was right next to the poppin' pills, man. We passed right by there, like, so many times, I feel like. Nothing there. Yep. Shotgun Messiah. Alright, so look at that. We can literally see it from our base, probably. Well, at least we can see our base from here. Um, let's drop everything off here real quick and then we'll run back. 
Um, another thing I'm probably going to do today as well is try to take out these two rocks. It's going to take me a little while though, because I only have an iron pick. So, we'll see. If it's taking like a really, really long time, I probably won't. Um, place you there. There we go. Now we can get up. Okay. I'm just going to dump everything into this chest real quick. Just so we can get everything out of here and we'll worry about inventory management later. Alright, perfect. So, let's go ahead and get back down. Yeah, no, you can't see it. Okay, so it's not rendered in from the base, at least. Probably because we're a little bit elevated. So, that's probably why. But yeah, I literally ran, like, that way. Like, I wonder if it rendered in off, off to the left as I was running to the, um... Uh, what's it called? To the well bunker. It's funny. But yeah, we'll get in here, see if we can get anything good. Um, not really expecting too much besides uh, a bunch of gun parts. I think that's usually what it all is, hence the name, Shotgun Messiah. But we'll search all these things here on the outside. Uh, I don't need the glass. And we can scrap the lead fishing weights. Is there a good way to get in? I guess just the door, huh? This one's not like the other buildings, I forget. But uh, for those of you that have seen my... Um, place a hatch here real quick. That real quick. Um, for those of you who have seen my... Um, I'm doing two things at once, I can't even think. Uh, for those of you who have seen my um, last video um, about the updates, what do you guys think about that, huh? I'm honestly getting really, really excited about the new console version, uh, Apocalypse Edition. I think it's going to be, ooh, auger schematic. Very nice. I forgot there's going to be the little file cabinets that we can find schematics in. Um, but yeah, I'm getting really, really excited, guys. I really hope it doesn't get delayed any further than it, or it, than it already has. Um, go ahead and break into here. Um, because I really want to try out the new versions, or the new version, sorry. Uh, 47 receiver, I think we have that already. We are getting closer to building the AK, though. Um, but yeah, I'm getting really excited about it, guys. I hope you guys are, too. Um, I hope you guys liked that video. I really did my best to make sure that I was giving as much information as I could. Um, and of course, I didn't want to give you guys any bad information either. So I did a ton of research. I think I was working on that video for... Hello? Here's someone. Where are you at? Here? Maybe? We're sensed. Um, sorry, got distracted. Where is this person? Search this real quick. Probably in one of the back rooms here. Bathroom? No. Probably in the other back room there. Um, but yeah, I did a lot of research before that video came out. I probably was just researching things for maybe two weeks, two to three weeks, honestly. Ooh, nice. That is really handy. We needed another wrench. Uh, let's see what we can scrap. Scrap you, scrap you. You, you. That's probably good for right now. Take the rest of that. But yeah, I wanted to make sure to get all the accurate information that I could. Just so that I can give you guys the best video. Um, ooh, more coffee. Let's see. Let's grab that one. No room. Oh, okay. Get rid of the cloth. I guess I can scrap that now. More antibiotics. Very nice. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to give you guys a good video so that you guys can get excited. I know I'm excited. I know most of you guys are excited. You guys have been waiting for it for a long time. SMG parts, nice. More mechanical parts. Um, 
because yeah it's been uh it's been a long time coming so a lot of people have been waiting for this for a long time i'm gonna drop the brass um i'm not gonna have enough room to get any everything back here so let's go ahead and make a trip back i'll drop everything because we're not too far away i wonder if that zombie was out here nah it's definitely in the back uh where are we at this direction uh, but yeah, I really hoped you guys liked that. Um, what do you guys think about Seven Days Blood Moons? I think I said in the video, uh, originally I wasn't very excited about it, honestly. Uh, I'm not really big into those kind of like multiplayer games, like kind of like the 4v1 type things or 1v4 type of things. Um, but after seeing like all the stuff that you can do, I thought it was really, really interesting. I really like um, that you not only just send out the zombies, um, but that you can kind of like i think it basically said like mind control them essentially to take over their bodies um i think that's a really cool feature because then not only do you get to just kind of just place them around but you can also you know what we're gonna take these out and throw these onto the farm um but you also get to um play as the zombies as well everything's looking good so far place two more of these down very nice. Are these, uh, no, they're not yet. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, the seven days blood moons actually looks really interesting. It's only going to be on steam for what it, um, from what it looks like so far. I don't know if that's going to come out on console or not. Um, I was watching, um, a video by Spartan 85. Um, he actually released an update video the same day as me. I think literally like a couple hours after me, I think. Uh, it was like super close, so I thought it was hilarious that we uploaded on the same day. Um, but he talked a little bit about like what he was thinking about the blood moons and stuff like that, and he mentioned a really good point. It's gonna kind of bring up. Um, oh, thought I got this one. Oh, nice, Mega Crush. Um, that it's gonna kind of be the same thing that of what it is now. Um, that people have been asking for the console edition for so long for regular Seven Days to Die. And then now they're going to release this other game. And people are going to be like, so when is this coming to console? And it's true because as of right now, it's only on Steam. Um, you can add it to your, your uh, wish. Can't even speak. Wish list. Just you in here. Making all that noise. Sit down. Um, but yeah, really excited about the new graphics, all the new different kinds of zombies. What do you guys think about that dire wolf that they, um, what's it called, that they mentioned and that they talked about? I think it looked pretty cool. It's definitely going to be, uh, probably a jump scare. I have a feeling it's going to be similar to the dog where it's just going to be really fast and just kind of pop up out of nowhere. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. All right, let's go ahead. Okay, desk two. Go ahead and break into this. I'll break into the safe real quick, and I'll be right back, guys. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, iron helmet schematic and some paper. Nice. It's a new recipe. I'll take it. Um, so that is the shotgun messiah, all looted. Uh, so let's run back to the base again this way. Um. I really need to put it on the map. Did I put it on the map? No. What's that? I think that's... Oh, that's a traitor. Forget. Um, yeah, I really need to add it to the map, though. But yeah, so I think for the rest of the time, for the most part, we're probably just going to work on getting resources. It's already 3.30. Yeah, I really need resources so that we can work on the base overnight. That's like what I mainly want to kind of do. And I want it to be that every episode you guys kind of see some updates on the base as I continue to finish it. Because the actual base obviously works itself. Like this is going to be fine um, for the horde. Um, as you saw on the first horde, we had uh, half this base basically ready. And we were able to finish it. So um, when we get another horde or anything, it's not going to be um a problem or anything like that it's gonna take a while the problem with this is like we're not getting a lot of iron from this 
It takes off tiny little pieces. But maybe if we kind of cut through the middle of it, it'll cause the top part to kind of fall off. So I'm not really doing this part for resources. I mean, obviously I'm getting the, the stones, which is nice. But I just want to get rid of these rocks because I some of the zombies got um, caught up on it on our first night. I mean, we did get the auger schematic, so if we start getting some of the pieces for that, that'll be really nice. I know some of the stuff we have to make, um, but I believe... I can't remember all the components of it. I want to say that we need some kind of battery for it. I don't know if it's just a car battery. If it's just a car battery, we might hit up some cars and get that. That'll be really nice, because then we can start um, making a, um, a mine shaft as well. Uh, can we reach that? There we go. Uh, but yeah, let me see if I can piece away a little bit at this rock. If we can at least get this one knocked out, and then maybe get the other one knocked out another day. Day 12 or 13. Uh, so that we're ready for the horde, then... That's best case scenario, so I'll work on for this. I'll sorry, I'll work on this for a little bit, um, and I'll bring you guys back uh, if anything interesting happens. All right, that's that rock gone. Get rid of this tree too. That already looks so much better opened up so much so now we just need to get at least that one probably won't worry about those other two um i think for right now though um uh, is that a deer yeah that's a deer um i think for right now though let's go ahead and get our um iron shovel i think we have an iron shovel right uh we'll dump all these in here for right now uh because i already have 1000 small stone um, do I have an iron shovel? It would be in here. Yes, I do. Um, we'll just go ahead and... Oh, not you. Iron shovel. And we'll get some more... Um, what is it called? Um, clay soil. I already have a decent amount of rocks. I'm pretty much completely out of clay soil. So, want to go ahead and pick all this up. Uh, a little bit further... And here we are. We already have a little hole here, so very nice. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to pick up some more of this clay soil. See if we can get a good back, honestly. I'd love to have a ton, way more than I need, honestly, so that I don't have to keep coming back here. Um, cause it's still going to be a lot of cobblestone rocks that we have to make um, to finish the rest of our base. Um, and yeah, <laughs> we're going to need a lot of resources, so... I will be back in a bit. Alright, so I just finished up collecting um, everything that I want to collect in this video. I want to come in here just to kind of finish up and round out the video and loot this house here. Um, this house is the one that... You know what, let's go ahead and break down this car. Um, this house is the one that I was thinking that zombies were getting caught up in, but when I went in the inside of the house, I didn't see anything. Um, so, I think what I'll probably do for the next um, horde is just make sure that um, all the doors are open and everything, and hopefully if zombies do end up spawning in there, um, that they're able to find their way out and kind of path towards me again. Because um, it was just really weird, like the hordes kind of stopped coming around like 1 or 2 a.m. And they're not supposed to stop until 4. Um, or, yeah, 4. Um, so it was just kind of weird. Finish up grabbing this. It was really clutch that I got that other wrench because this one's getting really low. Alrighty, not too bad. We'll go ahead and scrap this for the brass. Got two mechanical parts. Scrap the headlight and the hubcap. Um, I think we'll hold on to everything else. We'll drop the cloth right now. I don't need any cloth right now. Let's go ahead and come into here. I am going to take this leather though. This is not open. 
See if we can search this whole house before uh, midnight. There's a safe there. I will leave that till the end. Um, if I have enough time to grab that. So, see what else we got in here. Uh, this is the garage. Okay, nice. Got a challenge. More gun parts. Scrappables. Get rid of that. Don't need the glass. Um, there is an attic here. Nice. Um, is it supposed to look like this? I don't think I've ever searched one of these kind of houses. Very clean up here. Probably is. Kind of a ritzy looking house. Uh, we'll scrap that. I'll get rid of the short iron pipes so that I can take the, um, what are they called? The steel arrows. Um, switch to this guy. Break into here. See what we have in here. I think this usually means we have a safe. Yep, we got a safe. So let's see. Anything in here? Literally looks so empty, but yet there's stuff inside of it. Um, let's go ahead and just break into here real quick. This shouldn't take too long. By the time this finishes, we'll probably have about an hour left. See if we can loot everything else on the bottom floor and then uh, get back to our base. I was actually really uh, surprised. I thought we were going to get hit by a screamer horde because I have my forge going and I was close by when we were um, mining that rock. So I was just waiting for it and I was just like, yep, we're going to get a screamer. Alright, almost broken into here. Alright, let's see what we got. Lots of gun parts. Um, and I can't take anything because I'm full. So let me leave that there real quick. And we're going to run back to our base. Uh, let's see, where's the front door? Right here. Nope, oh, this is the back door. Here we go. We'll see how much time I actually have now that we have to drop off more stuff. We collected a lot of stuff today, though. I'm happy. I'll have to look through it. I was kind of just collecting everything quickly so that we could have as much time as possible to loot. Got another level. Nice. Oh, we have 60 skill points. Okay, I'm going to have to remember uh, when we're all finished and we head and we get back to our base. Um, I need to spend those. All right, let's dump everything into here real quick. Okay, we're full on that one. It's fine. Just want to get back in there real quick. We'll start heading back probably at like 2145-ish, right around there. Just so we don't have to worry about anything. I don't want us getting close to our base and then uh, scream a horde spawning in. and <laughs> Then they start running at us on top of that, so. Um, did I search any of these? Nope. Nightstands. Nice. Cool. Oh, did I search these? I did not. Nothing. And, okay. Leather glove schematic and leather chest armor. One new recipe. The other one I already knew. Um, we got the bathroom here. Oh, another wrench. Very nice. Nice little uh, bathtub there. No more pistol. Would love to get another, a better pistol from one of the toilets, or at least like the pistol book or something, just so we can start putting together. The pistol is still super weak. Alright, nothing in the sinks. We'll probably finish up this uh, kitchen real quick, and then we'll head back. I don't know if that's everything. I think there was, I think there's an upstairs too, and I didn't really get that, so... We'll definitely have to come back and finish that up, but I don't want to be caught out at night time, so. Alright, that's everything that I want to grab for right now. That's the back, so. Yeah, and we have the back as well, and there was a safe in one of the rooms, so. Yeah, there's definitely still a decent bit left in the house for us to loot, so. We'll run back here, though. I don't trust it. It's been a little too quiet this episode. Watch, I say that and we're going to get attacked in the middle of the night. Man, I'm not getting any, um, what are they called? Um, eggs. 
I really need to build, um, I think I'm still kind of, can I get up here? Jeez. I am still, um, a little torn on what I want to do. I don't know if I want to build a ramp to get up here, um, or if I want to build, um, what's it called? A, uh, tunnel out. Um, but we can go ahead and throw, actually, I don't really have space. Uh, we'll scrap what we need to scrap at least. I think there was some stuff in here we probably could scrap. Take out the iron and the brass. We can throw that in the forge. Um, actually, was there anything that I needed to scrap? Yeah, the shades I can scrap. Not really a whole ton, though, huh? Um, yeah, really. Not much at all. Okay. Oh, well. Um, how are we looking here? Oh, that actually smelted up everything else. Sweet. So, yeah, we can throw some stuff back in there. Um, we don't have any clay in here, so we're probably going to want to throw a little bit of clay in there, too, just so we can start making some new items as well. Um, did I not put a workbench down? I thought I put a workbench down. Uh, yeah, see, there's my cobblestone rocks. I have, like, none. Um, let's see. Nope, because I have 32 mechanical parts, so I definitely did not put one down. Really thought I did, wow. What do I need besides mechanical parts? Should have everything to build a workbench. I don't know why I didn't. Um, the forged iron, which I have, mechanical parts I have. I have a wrench in my inventory. I needed the claw hammer and wood, so claw hammer. Um, which one, which wrench should I throw in there? This is a 127. What's the, would it be the energy damage? No, that's, uh, zombies. Block damage, I guess, 573. 544, so we'll use this one. We'll throw this guy in here. Take out the claw hammer. I'll have to make another one. Wait, actually, didn't I? It's fine. We'll use this one. So we have that workbench going there. That'll be really nice. We can combine um, items, make them a little stronger. Uh, let's see. You can scrap that bullet casing. I'm going to take a bunch of stuff out, too, because not all this is going to stay here. Because um, we got, like, food items and everything once I sort everything. Um, but yeah, I think what we're going to do overnight um, is I'm going to finish um, this pillar here. I don't know why this is here. Um, I'll finish this these pil this pillar here. I'll start digging out um, this grass um, so that I can place the wood. Should be able to finish all that overnight. And then I might start building up kind of the outside. I still don't know what really what I want to do, though. Because I would love to just build a ramp up to here. But the ramp might get in the way, though. That's the only problem. Or, like, zombies, like, might get stuck. Because I would have to build something that they couldn't get across. Um, I know there's, like, um, what is it called? A hatch method or something like that. I might just have to look that up. There also is a drawbridge, which would, would be pretty cool, too. I've never used the drawbridge before, but I did um, see it when I was in my creative, um, when I was working on the um, video for the Horde base. Um, I saw that there's a drawbridge in the game, which I didn't even know existed. Um, so that might be kind of cool. Um, just kind of have a drawbridge go off with like a ramp going up to it or like stairs going up to it. Probably would want it maybe this way. Oh, look at that. Wandering Horde spawning. <laughs> Uh, looks like we're gonna get attacked. Oh, yep, and we've got, um, spider zombies. Lovely. Oh, man. Okay. Let's, uh, take care of those spider zombies real quick. <laughs> looks like I'm not gonna have a lot of time to do anything, I guess. Uh, where is it? There he is. I don't want you getting in my base. Oh, he's up top. Alright, let's wait for him to get down here. Uh, 
Hello? <laughs> uh, I keep forgetting to put the frames on the outside so that they can't do that. What I really need to get is the iron bars going. Iron bars are the best. He's definitely up top, isn't he? I saw him go up. I can hear him still too. I think he's up top. He's probably trying to get down. Love how I literally saw the wandering horde spawn. Uh, I don't have too much left of this. Oh, where is he? Scary. Oh, is he breaking it? I want to kind of look broken. I don't know where he's at. I don't really want to run up top to go find him. He's hitting something. Oh no, he's destroying my base, isn't he? Oh shoot, scared me. Jump scare, man. Wanna get down here? Hit him, we'll cheese him like this. I don't know if he can hit me or not. Hopefully he didn't destroy anything. Stunned. I might die. I don't know why he's not dying. There we go. Oh man. Did he destroy anything? I don't know what he was hitting. I heard him hitting something though. Everything looks fine. I think. Get back down there real quick. Ugh. That was not fun. Okay, definitely overnight I am placing, uh, what's it called? I'm placing frames. Is there another one? There's another one, isn't there? Yep, there he is. You sound tired, dude. I missed. See if we can get a headshot here. I missed again. Wow. Nice. Oops. Wrong one. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a little out of it, guys, today. I am extremely exhausted. I got maybe four hours of sleep last night. Um, currently going to college right now. Um, I have my bachelor's, but I'm finishing up some classes for the master's program I want to get into. Is that a third spider zombie? Um, but yeah, I was studying for it all night, so I am exhausted. Where are you? I thought he was coming from that direction. I thought I saw something. Rid of you. I'm sensed. He's around here somewhere. I don't know where he's at. You guys see him? Maybe he's up top. Let's get up top and see if we can find him. Not up here. Hello? Is he getting hurt by something? I'm so confused. Did he die? We're undetected now. He must have died, but how? I don't know what he was getting hurt by. Oh man, what an eventful way to end this episode. <laughs> uh, and all the bodies broke, didn't they? Yeah, I still need to flatten the outside too. A lot of things I need to work on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, my guy is super thirsty as well. 
No, I just heard him again. He's still alive somewhere. Maybe he spawned in the house or something. They spawned from this direction, though. I did see a couple come from this direction, though, too. See anything, but I swear I just heard him again, though. Um, let's pop... No, do I have bandages? I'd rather use bandages instead if I have not Just that. It looks very bright. I mean, I guess it's getting close to morning. Um, there he is. Nice. Did I miss? Did I get him? I got him. Nice. Stay away. Alright, 35. Or level 34, 65 skill points. Actually, that reminds me that I needed to spend the skill points. Um, I do want to do Pummel Pete again. Because obviously my blunt weapon is not very good. If it couldn't even take him out that well. <laughs> um... Can't do quality Joe again until I get a little bit higher. And now it's getting crazy dark. It's weird. Almost ominous. Um, let's see. I still have 55 points and I don't know what to do with them. I could boost a couple of um a couple of things, yeah, because I can't get sexual transaurus either. I need to get athletics 40. Let's do that. It's five points. Pump five into there, and then one more into select sexual Tyrannosaurus. Can't even speak. I know that's not uh, the most. What is going on? It just got dark and then light again. Hopefully, I'm not getting gonna get a crash or something. That looks like some weird shaders and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna leave it there, guys. <laughs> Sorry for the crazy weird ending to this episode. Um, I'll do what I can to work on the base a little bit more, but it's pretty much almost 4 o'clock already. Um, but yeah, if you liked the video, guys, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.